Let's take a look at uh, declaring and initializing variables. We've already been using uh, the dim statement. Um, so I'm going to double click uh, button one here. If you don't already have a button one, go ahead and create a form, drop the button one on there. And um, I'm going to say dim. And I got uh, sales as double. I got tax as double. And I got, um, say, perch, purchasing amount as double. Notice I'm using the underscore there. A little, bit, little green squiggly means I haven't been assigned values. Now, instead of uh, declaring it in this manner, what I can do is I could say sales, comma, tax, comma, purchase amount as double. So that's another way of, um, of declaring them. Let me get rid of these. So you don't have to have an individual line for each variable. Obviously, if you have 100 variables, you'd have 100 lines of code. So putting them in this manner is uh, preferable. Now, if it's going to scroll off your screen, or if you're printing it, and it's going to scroll off the side, I would recommend uh, stopping it there and then having another line where you declare more variables. So you can have a mixture. Uh, maybe down here is the uh, state tax as double. Now all these have a, the green squiggly saying unused local variable. Um, and I could say um, message box sales. And let's run this now. If I click button one, it comes up and tells me zero. By default, it assigned zero to sales. It's bad programming practice to assume it's always going to be zero or to assume it's going to be whatever value. In some cases, it may be null. So you always want to initialize. Now that's declaring your variables. We already talked about different data types, so you can have different data types. But to initialize your variables, Then I could say sales equal to zero, tax is equal to zero, perch amount is equal to zero, uh, state tax is equal to zero. And down here then will be my um, uh, main main program. Now we're putting everything behind a button, um, but realize that um, we're going to see later on you, you actually put code behind a lot of different uh, locations, not just one button. Um, now, you notice the green squigglies are gone, and you might say, well, yeah, but it accomplished the same thing. We put an extra four lines of code in here we did not need to have. Well, what happens if it, it defaults to zero, and uh, Microsoft comes out with a new version of Visual Studio, Visual Basic, that then uh, sets it equal to null? All of a sudden, every program that you wrote that's assuming that it's set to zero to begin with is now broke. So it's good programming practice to always initialize your variables at the start of your program. Uh, even if you're going to set them down here, if I'm going to immediately say sales is equal to 5, well, again, get in the habit of always doing this initialization. And then Microsoft coming out with a new version of Visual Basic will not, will not break your program.